Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm going to give you guys a little small recap and review on a new episode of Yahari Orino Sishwin Love Comedy Wadmachi Gatayu Zoku. In other words, you could call it my teen romantic comedy Snafu 2. Or Origaru 2, which is season 2. Y'all get what I'm saying that. Anyways, this episode right here, it just got subbed out recently after I watched um JoJo, which is um... A pretty, which is pretty cool, you know. I mean, like, um, I am, I am upset that it did not get subbed out like um yesterday, which it, which has, which it's always been like that, like, eighty percent of the time. But having it come out like this, it's not a big deal, you know. I mean, just like um, I'm just gonna be a little late with it, and then so forth. So, anyways, this episode here, there was a little small drama of happening around lately, but um. Eventually that was kind of settled and there was some like um important questions that like um that's pretty much important to like um all of us here. Well, pretty much. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we see to it that there's been some strange rumors about like Hayato dating um Yuki y Yukino or Yukinon, whatever you want to ca call her. And that pretty much got me like um wondering like um who the heck would say that kind of rumors or something, you know? Pretty um annoying and upsetting, you know, like um spreading out those fake news or something could be really really irritating, especially when it's not even true. I had to go through that million, I had to go through that many times back then, and it was not fun. Anyways, um as the episode progresses, we see to it that Iroha is celebrating Yukino's birthday with Yuri and Hiki, you know, and it was pretty funny here and there. There was um. A uh, question where um, Iroha asked um, Yukino if she's dating Hayato, and she goes, and Yukino's like, "Hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not happening at all," and so forth. And that face, she, that expression with her face that she showed, it was pretty scary. It was like the sign of the Grim Reaper or death. <laughs> Just saying, you know. Um, eventually, as time continues on, um. We have to it that um, Iroha's being all Miss Flurious with um, Hickey a bit, and this made Hickey blush, and I think in my mind, dang, dude, I never thought he'd be blushing like that, you know? <laughs> Just saying. But anyways, um, as the episode continues, we have to it that Yumiko comes in and asks um, Yukino a couple questions here and there, and Yukino kind of gotten a little serious here and there, okay? Which is to my shock and surprise me. And, and later on, she ends up asking a favor or some help about like um, maybe um something involving Hayato or something you know that kind of thing eventually as time goes on um Hiki, Yui and Yukino are like concerned about like um, what Hayato's career path you know and we even have to it that Yukino asked her old sister she says figure that out yourself or something you know that kind of thing and therefore um, we have to it that Hiki did talk to Hayato about this but he decides not to tell him he just says, I hate you. And I think in my mind, huh, that's pretty cool. I hate you. You know, like, um, that made me, like, um, make up a little funny poem here and there, which is just hilarious, but it's not that funny anyway. Anyways, um, as Hickey's thinking in his mind, like, um, how is he, what's he, what's he's trying to do, you know? I think the main point of this episode is probably stop the rumors here and there. That's about it. Um, it's not, um, a big deal, but stopping the rumors would be a good, good start. Anyways, um, as the episode progresses on, you know, we have to it that, um, that Hiki planned out something out with, um, our boy, with our boy, um, Totsuka Saika. Well, he is our trap boy, no offense, just saying the truth, if anything, just giving out my thoughts. Anyways, um, as he gives out those crazy thoughts or something, you know, um, he did have a little small talk with, um, Totsugu, you know, and therefore things starting to work out as Hiki himself and the others are like doing a marathon run, possibly cross country like run. I'm not really sure how many miles they ran, but looks like cross country challenge to me. And Hiki's like telling Hayato like, "You should choose this, you should choose that. If you don't want anyone to follow you, that kind of thing, you know." And we have to it that Hayato reveals on um, that he hates losing to Hiki or something, you know, and that's the reason why he's like trying to be as a He's trying to make Hickey as equal, etc. Blah blah blah. All this information revealed to him, which I'm pretty gonna, which I'm pretty vague at. I'm pretty sorry. I'm I'm very very sorry. Um, can't really remember everything else together what he said, but it seemed to be a little um serious. But Hayato runs up ahead, even though he he was falling behind. Hickey tries to catch up, but he was out of stamina and 
falls to the ground, dead flat, and I'm thinking in my mind, oh wow, that's got to suck for you, boy. This is what happens when you don't really exercise hard enough to your own limit, you know? Make sure you keep up that endurance anyway. Anyways, Hayato wins, and he ends up saying talk, saying to Iroha and Yumiko, thanks for cheering me on, you know? And the rumors about like Hayato dating Yukino was all a lie, and I go, huh, finally. We have to it that... um. Our boy Hiki goes to the nurse goes to the nurse's office and Yukino was there. She says she ran out of breath and she was forced to step out, you know, that kind of thing. And you know, Yukino and Hiki has a little tender moment where Yukino like um tends to his wounds on his on his on his leg, which is his left knee, I believe. Possibly. I think it is left knee. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Anyways, they did have the face close up to each other, but not before where Hiki asked um Yukino's career path and she says, Oh, that's pretty simple. International studies, you know, that kind of thing. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh, that's pretty sweet. I mean, don't really know. International liberal arts studies, possibly, and so forth. And we see to it that they had the face close up with each other, and Hickey was, like, blushing a bit. And I think in my mind, okay, I'm shipping them, I'm shipping them, I'm shipping them. Like I said, I said it many episodes back, you know, that kind of thing. So it's really obvious. Anyways, um, Yui, on the other hand, comes in and... Gets ready to go to a party, you know? And Yukino has a little small talk with Hayato, and Hayato's like, Hey, you changed a bit, haven't you? And therefore, we have to it that, um... Yukino's like, I don't know, who knows? And Yui barges in and takes Yukino to go eat with a couple of friends, you know? And we had to it that Hayato and Hiki has a little small um, talk, you know, with Hiki saying back, I hate you too, okay? That's it. And therefore, it was pretty hilarious right there. But um, we see to it that um, our buddies, on the other hand, still still treat each other as friendly rivals or just friends, possibly. But as as the episode progresses on, it just ends off like that, possibly. Anyways, when I heard the quotes of the next episode preview, it looks really serious and important. I'm thinking in my mind, holy dang, dude, that's pretty um, rough taking. <laughs> well... Pretty rough, if anything. Anyways, um, looking forward to the next one. This episode here, pretty cool. Something about like career paths here and there, which is pretty important to like um, any high school student, especially as college as college students as well. You know that kind of thing. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna leave it at that, people. I'll see you guys um later. I'll see you guys in my next recap and review. So expect Assassination Classroom to be next. All right. So if anything else, I'm off at zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye bye.